Hey guys, what's up? I have here the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100, which is the national version of the Galaxy S2. And this time it's running on the latest Jelly Bean 4.1.2 official firmware from Samsung. This has been recently released in only in certain countries like Spain and China. However, it can run on the international unlocked version. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm back again. So this is the main home screen of the new Jelly Bean firmware for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100, which is the unlocked uh, international version. As you can see, it has the similar user interface to the Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy S3, especially with the home screen transitions. It's a quite smooth. It's fluid, yeah, as you can see. Um, there are new icons down here at the bottom on the dock menu. And uh, uh, we have the apps, which is now on the right hand side. Let's check out the notifications bar. And yeah, this is really awesome. They have what is here as the like, sort of shortcut uh, settings here. So you can easily turn off the Wi Fi, turn on GPS. Um, there's also power saving and we have the notifications here uh, brightness control so this is very similar to the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2 um, let's see what else we have let's check out the apps so the cool thing about the Galaxy S2 Jelly Bean Roam firmware sorry <laughs> You can actually hide applications now. So you can hide the default or pre-installed bloatware that messes up and clogs up your app menu easily just by ticking uh, these icons here and you can easily hide them. Oh and yeah, yeah, check this out guys. Now there's the there's a percentage for the battery. So as you can see 78%. You can easily add that in the in the settings. So let's check what else is new here. Let's check out. Let's check out. Check out. Yeah, let's check out the version. So this should be running on 4.1.2. Yep, it is. There it is. Yeah, you can play around with these beans. Um, let's check out what other settings. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have this home screen mode. There are two types, basic mode and easy mode. Easy mode are prob probably targeted towards, you know, first time users as it pre-installs widgets. There's blocking mode, which is pretty cool. You can block calls, notifications, even turn off alarms at any specific time. So this is perfect when you're gonna, when you're gonna go to bed. Display. Yeah, there's smart stay now. So if you're not looking at the device, um, the screen will automatically dim and go off. This that's where you display the battery percentage for the notification bar up here. Yeah, the lock screen. Yeah, check out the lock screen. You can actually now add weather into the lock screen. I disabled it though. And you can customize these apps shortcuts down here. So if you just so if you just swipe up or anywhere else, it will automatically launch the application itself. So you can customize that. That's awesome. So let's go back to the settings. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's face unlocked. Yeah. That's basically about it guys with the um, with the Samsung Galaxy S2 Jelly Bean firmware from Samsung. It's f not as fluid as as uh, let's say the stock or stock Android 4.1.2 from Google, but it's good enough. And I especially like the transitions between each screens. But there's something a bit there's something weird about this. When you add the folder, you can't just simply drag the icon over another icon to create the folder. You have to create it from uh, up here. So you have to drag into there, create folder, and that's how you create the folder. And you can't create folders down here too in the docking menu, as um, I don't know Samsung just doesn't. 
didn't program it that way. So anyway, this has been a quick tour of the Samsung Galaxy S2 Jelly Bean 4.1.2 official firmware from Samsung. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and most of all, comment 